Bye, have a great time. I hope everybody out there is having a good day. ADR, this is King Black. And I titled this video, The Struggle to Keep Away the Dark Side of Myself or Yourself. You know, there have been many times where I may have been wronged by somebody or a situation. And I look back and I see the crossroads I was faced with. How easy it would have been to use my position and use my anger to do something that later on I would have regret. But two things... Or three things have actually always held me back from being a stereotype of what people expect us to be. One is my freedom. I love not being in jail. I love not being in the penitentiary. I love not having to worry about any warrants on me. Because I haven't done anything to merit any of those things to happen. Two, my family. If I were to react the way I, my mind was telling me to react, you know, they would suffer because of the pain I would have brought unto the other person's or place's family or business. It was also going to hurt me and my family. Third, knowing that tomorrow brings a new day, a new potential, new opportunities. You know, it's so easy to hang on to anger because it feels evil, but it's much harder to let it go and to focus on the positive and to go a different direction you know a lot of people may say if it was me I would have done this but yeah if you would have done that you wouldn't be in a better place now you know very little in life is worth taking a risk so big that you can end up throwing away years or your whole life or your freedom away you know there are things that you will have to suffer through alone the nightmares the vivid dreams the whispers the deja vus the hallucinations the guilt the pain and the heart that no medicine can take away. These are some of the things that have kept me from being a monster. And yet, turn all of that energy into becoming a leader that my organization needs. To provide an example that we don't all have to follow that dark path that many are expected to take from people on the outside and within. If you already have people who have thrown their life away, it's easy for them to tell you to throw yours away. It's harder still to reject that evil and to encourage others that no matter how hard it may seem, the best way is, the, is not always the most comfortable you have to be willing to fight your natural inclinations to react in anger or to explode. But to reflect and to find a positive out of all the negative and focus then on that. Because if you focus on what happened to you or how you should react then you are allowing that anger to bubble inside of you to the point where you are going to forget the positive and only do evil. And that is not the right path.
Now, if you have fallen victim to your evil self, and you have indulged in some evil impulses, know that you can always come back from it. There's always the potential to be better today than you were yesterday. And that tomorrow you will be better than what you were today. Don't let past mistakes pigeonhole you 